for this Muse Me, the subject matter of what we're going to be shooting is really weird because Jay knew that I wanted to do all blue. Right. And we knew that I had mentioned the idea that we would do different landmarks in Hollywood, uh, a visual that was like, that's Hollywood, because we live in the middle of Hollywood, and yet we've never featured the concept of Hollywood in a Muse Me shoot. And I'm thinking, we see it in commercials and in movies and television shows all the time, exactly where we live. And we're like, we go there, and we go there. I know where they're at there, and whatever. And so I just thought that we would do something to pay homage to this town that we love slash hate. No, I'm just kidding. No. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. My dad always says it's the place for broken dreams. It is. Yeah. I thought we would use blue as, and I told you that. What's interesting about that is I had a long conversation in my head about they're all in blue and maybe the character that Jay is channeling will be sad because I imagined her by the Capitol Records building being very sad. And I think we might incorporate some balloons in that. She could be sad. And then I thought maybe she could be sad in all of them. And, and then I thought, no, I, there's a picture of Madonna in her sex book where she's hitchhiking and she's completely naked except for heels. So it's interesting that she did all that guerrilla style shooting. And but we will not be doing that. No, we will not be doing that. So, so am I going to be sad or happy or what? You're going to be sad and happy. Okay. And I want to call this Hollywood in blue. And we're just going to do all of your blue clothes. You have a blue fur, I know. Yep. And you've laid some stuff out, blue. Yeah, I okay, laid out great. all the blue options. So why don't we go take a look and start this Muse Me episode happening. Okay, so I have laid out every blue option you can oh, imagine. It looks so Some of these you wouldn't have even seen before. This is like a Cinderella dress. Vibe. That's gorgeous. Isn't honey. it gorgeous? It really is beautiful. Great. Ooh, I love this fur. This is the long blue fur. Love this. This is the dress that we don't know if it will fit me from Thailand, all hand beaded. This is like a yeah. tinsel bolero. Wow. Lots of fun movement, I imagine. Yes. This is also new. If you guys don't know, I'm a clothes hoarder. That's an understatement. <laughs> this is a strapless. Like, uh, you've never seen anything like it, by the way. Okay, keep going. <laughs> this is the train that typically goes with this blue, but knowing you, you might want to pair it with something else. And then, you know, the classic, my heart will go on, blue beaded dress. Yes. Then this is another strapless blue simple dress. And then we have this. For the Getty, remember that. The sequin blue dress, which uh, is from Raven. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we have to try the blue on and see what happens. Okay. Because that will determine everything else, to okay. be quite honest. So let's do that first. Okay. Ooh, is it going to fit? I don't know. Let me see. This was made for the old body before the transition. I need you to take this. Wow. Okay, so this was your idea for the second look. Right. The only other thing I could see wearing there is the bolero, but what would you wear underneath? Right, one of the shorter dresses. Too much fabric, especially for the Hollywood. I want you to look the most sexy in that shot. Okay, well this is a no, right? So let me get out of this and try something else on. I think it's the yes. I think it's yes. With black lingerie. Yeah, which you won't see much because you're going to be doing that a lot. Okay, so all I have is this That's lacy perfect. black bra. Perfect. And then we'll do the matching black panty, the corset, which has a mesh see-through vibe. Yep. And then the garter belt that's also lace. With yep. The... Okay. So there's that look. And that's the second location. Okay. So this is the original shoe I chose. We're going to go with that instead of the black pump. Okay, so what do we think of this option? Just for fun, let me see the fur with that. Take it off the shoulders. What about the pretty dress that you liked? Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. With what kind of shoe? This is the black boot that I have. Yeah, that'll work. What do you have black hat-wise in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our three looks. Yeah. Okay, great, so now we just need to pick out the hair. Wigs, wigs, wigs! Come on, wigs! Okay, so here are our blue options. We've got this brand new gorgeous wig from my dear friend Meg in New York. She custom colors and dyes these creations. So cool, right? Love it. Then we've got a lighter blue vibe, a longer black and blue vibe. 
Okay. And then we've got a bright blue, but it's all one color. Okay. And then last, but certainly not least, looks like we've got an ombre maybe from blue into light blue. So what do you think? I think this for the first look, the bob for the last look. And this is for the fur. This yeah. for the fur? Well, I think we should use your friend's wig. Yeah. They're also similar. Might as well pick this one. And I like the way this color is in the front. It's, yeah. All right, now jewelry. Here's uh -huh. a more contemporary necklace, a classic one. And then there's also maybe this black chain. Yeah, I like this idea because we're gothing up that dress. Right. So I think this would be good. Okay. Uh -huh. And then what about for earrings for this look? I might even go so far as to put you in. Or, or, really? You don't think that's too much? Or maybe none. No earrings. Okay, because I didn't pull black earrings. We couldn't okay. do a black earring. Eh, I think the bob with this, with the gloves and the boots is enough. So the second look we have, the fur coat with the black lingerie and the silver accessories. All of these looks, you are once again in a landscape. And so anything that we use has got to be a pow. This necklace is good and I think we'll look good with that. So we'll take this necklace. Okay. And I think we should use these for the first look. These earrings for the yeah, first look. Yeah, uh-huh. And by the way, that ring is really cool. I think we should use that because it's so big. Okay, so they don't have many black options, so I just tried to pull things that are pow. Like the silver hat. Just thought it could be funny. Mm -hmm. I also found these giant metal hoops. I like those with a lot. the silver hat. Uh-huh. Or I thought if you still wanted to stick with this, we could do these. I think this one, because again, you're not going to see the ears that much. Okay, cool. Let's get to getting some makeup on. Usually I don't do the eyebrows first, but for this kind of makeup story, I had to give a frame for what I'm about to do, which is add two different shades of Trixie Cosmetics Shimmer Topper. Oh, so pretty, it looks like Beetle. Skinny Dip. Oh. In the shade of Skinny Dip, and I'm gonna add that to the very bottom, because we gradiate from dark to light. I might go ahead and just add another ka. Another ka? Another layer. Everything we're doing today, we want big and bold. Simple gestures, but large, so they can be seen from a distance. We're gonna go into another Shimmer Topper by Pixie Cosmetics in the shade Take a Hike. And then there's that. And then we're gonna go into Pixie's Bottle Blonde Palette. I'm gonna go into the color Peroxide. And I'm just gonna give a dash here. and highlight the brow bone. This is the fastest you've ever done my makeup. Ooh, wow. Well. So now I'm going into Trixie Mattel's Black Gel Liner. We're in French, Sur Ligne Gel Noir. Then I'm taking Trixie Cosmetics Back to the Future blush palette and highlighter, and I'm gonna use Cyber Babe and Moon Boots blended together. Okay, look number one is complete. I just need to add the final detail, which are these nails that he selected. So let's get on the road. For hours. Everybody comes to Okay, we made it to first location. Uh-oh. Here, can you help me with this hat? So what's the plan, Stan? All right, so we're gonna cross Susie's. Well, they have to stop, so come with me. Kick off, when I tell you now, kick off the right shoulder and stand like this. Okay. Do this now. One. Big so I can get it on the, and really cross over. Okay. And mouth open. Okay, get ready. I'm only worried about the cars coming that way. This way, right? No, the other way. This way? Either way. You just need one lane open. So this okay, here we time. go. Go. Okay. Throw the coat around. Look all different places. You'll turn that way and you go like this. 
Looks sad. You've heard of the stanky leg, but this is the chicken okay, leg. Out. Crouch down and stick your middle finger up. Oh. I see a palm tree. I think it's going to make a good shot. I think it's important to be open to inspiration. Look around more. I give my models a lot of direction. Walk to me again like I told you to walk. Yes. Some of them like it. Some of them don't. Oh, oh, yeah, good. Now walk backwards. Jay gets off on it, which is good because that shows Do the this. trust we have for each other. Jay understands that the goal is to create unforgettable iconography. Car! Yeah, that's good. Car, jump if you can. My least favorite words to hear, but leapfrog we go. Yep. Okay, we got it. Right knee to the, to the fence. Left, that's your left knee. Yeah. That palm tree kept jumping out at me. I had to take more pictures with it, so we did. And then forward and yeah, uh-huh. So now the boys are running into the 99 cent store to pick up balloons. And I also forgot a pair of scissors to cut my lace for this next wig. And naturally, I'm getting changed in the car. We had to find another source for balloons. So we're on the street at this gentleman's house where I guess his business is in his residence. And we're getting 15 silver Mylar balloons that we're going to somehow pack into this car and drive to the next location. At this point, I am so used to changing in my car and in public, I don't even worry if someone sees my hoo-ha. It got lost in translation and we ended up getting blue metallic balloons. Change hands. Stand up straight or tall. Now knee. Yep. Look over there. The world's first circular office and one of LA's most iconic buildings, Capitol Records, was built in 1955 and has 13 floors. Believe it or not, I have stood on top of my car more than once for the sake of art. After the second Luke, it was time to get ready for the third Luke. Hope Muse Me has taught you the importance of improvising. Here I am using the car window as a mirror. Now I'm going to use Trixie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade feature, which is black. I'm going to change the lip. And as you can see, there's no dressing room. We're in the world on the corner of Vine and Franklin. So being that it's going to be harder to communicate, when we're there. Obviously pretend like the people aren't there, but I'd love to get people reacting to you. So we're a block away. Praying we're able to shoot. Yes. Oh, it's cold. And lift up the dress, yeah. Bend at the waist a little, yeah. And, oh! Can you do it slower? Look forward. From there. Chicken. Put your back against it. Yes. Tip the hat down further. Yes. Chin up. Stop. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Here she is, one block from Hollywood Boulevard in her beautiful Robin's egg dress, looking sexy and sensual and goth, very prrr, snatch kitty cat, meow meow pussy puss. Can you take a step? 
bend that way and then bend forward. Uh-huh. Now bend forward all the way more, more. Yes. Too much hair in the face. Being too much is my specialty. Meows me.